If you're using Gboard as your keyboard of choice, then you may have access to a limited font switcher directly within the application. Today, I'll show you where that new feature is located and then demonstrate how you can change the Gboard font style to your current system default font. So, with the Gboard application open, we're going to dive into the settings area by tapping on this gear icon right here. And then let's go ahead and tap on the preferences menu. Now, this is where Google is currently hiding its font switcher for the keyboard. If the feature has been rolled out to you, then you'll find this appearance section right below the keys section and right above the layout area. I'm currently seeing this feature on my Google Pixel 7 Pro here, but I have yet to see it appear on my Pixel 8. So Google seems to be taking its time rolling out this new font switcher. Now after we tap on the font option from this menu, we can choose from the Gboard default option or change it over to the system default font. From what I'm reading, the Gboard default font style is currently Google Sans text, which is described as a size optimized version of product Sans. And that's the same font that Google uses for all of its logos right now. But your default system font will be different depending on which phone you currently have. Google Pixel devices are still using Roboto as its system default option, while the default font for Samsung Galaxy devices is called Samsung One. But if you have changed your default system font on your firmware, then it should be reflected within the Gboard keyboard application after changing the font option to system default. I think being able to customize the fonts of an Android smartphone is something that most OEMs tend to leave out when they're building out their smartphone firmware. Different fonts can go a long way to helping make your device feel unique and personal to you and I wish more OEMs would offer ways to change the default option to something that is different. I do appreciate seeing this new feature within the Gboard application though, but it is rather limited right now. Maybe this is something that Google can expand upon in the future with the option to add fonts within the app. Or maybe this is something that a root mod will be able to inject into the Gboard application in the future. Let me know what you think about this new feature down in the comment section below. And please remember to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android tips like this.